Today is about getting real with yourself. If you want to know what that means to me and how you can get real with yourself and how to make big changes, follow to the end. Getting real with myself, what does that mean? The last few months, I just feel like I've been having to get real with myself. I've been having to allow my emotions to come to the surface. I've had to kind of go through them, process them, create awareness around them so that I can move forward, so that I can get stronger from them, so that I can create more self-awareness on where I'm not being real with myself. Getting real with myself was definitely quitting substances, was definitely staying on top of my spiritual practice, my exercise, my diet, my self-education, all of those things. The more I'm getting real with myself, the more I'm tapping into my power, my calling, my dharma, my message, you know, my existence. The more I get real with myself, the more my reality feels real to me. That feels fulfilling, you know? Like, it doesn't just feel like I'm a part of the grind and a part of the motion. I'm creating the wave in the ocean. I'm the one sailing the boat. I'm not just sitting on it and going for a ride. I'm driving the boat. The more I create self-awareness around my strengths and my weaknesses, the better everything else gets. The more things are starting to come into alignment, the more things are starting to be created. It's not a coincidence, it's a creation. You know, you're thinking about how you wanna bring something into your life and then the next day it pops up and you get the idea and you Google it and you find it and you talk to that person and you get that course or whatever it is. It's not coincidence, you've created it. So get real with yourself and understand that. Getting real with myself is learning what my medicine is, what my dharma is, what I have to offer. I was living a life that didn't feel fulfilling. I was on autopilot. I was getting stoned out of my mind all day long just to cope with going to work. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, it was super fun. Yeah, it was a great opportunity. But it was taking me away from something that was more meaningful. But I wasn't being real with myself. I wasn't listening to that. I was going home and I was kind of coping with that, shoving it down and waking up and continuing the cycle. Getting real with yourself is kind of realizing, are you in a job that's not serving you? Are you in a relationship that's not serving you? Are you living in a place that's not serving you? And if none of those things are serving you, what do you need to do to change that? How real do things need to get? How real do things need to feel for you, for me, to make a change? Do you know what I mean? It's like we're in a time of change right now. So many things are changing outside, which means many, many, many things are changing in here. The more we can tap into the changes going on in here, the more we can control the changes that are going on out there. So everybody here in this lifetime, walking on the earth right now, has a calling, has a dharma, has a message, has medicine to offer. It could be creating sculptures, beautiful sculptures or artwork. Uh, it could be you know, personal fitness, personal training. It could be therapy. It could be yoga. It could be coaching. It could be YouTube videos. It could be a cooking channel, anything. Everybody has their own kind of calling. Everybody's calling is a little different than everybody else's, but the difference between people who are fulfilling the calling and the people who aren't, those people got real with themselves. Those people started listening to what was going on in here versus what's going on out there. The more we can tap into our inner self or our higher self and connect and realign, you know, by doing Many different things that I've been talking about, spiritual practices, exercise, nutrition, getting real with yourself. All of those things are getting real with yourself. Everybody has something inside of them that's speaking and you have the choice to listen to it or not. It can be scary. Just like that video I made, big changes can be scary. Because when you're starting to listen to those things and you need to start making big transformation and you quit that job and you move to a new city or you quit a relationship or you start a relationship, those things are circulating new energy. Circulating new energy can be scary but exciting. Life transformation is scary but exciting. You know, when we start to kind of look at it feeling scary and then shift it more towards excitement or fulfillment, That'll change a lot. So getting real with myself is something that has been coming up for a while. And that's why I want to make this quick little video. 
How have I been getting real with myself? How are you getting real with yourself? Or how do you need to get real with yourself? And if you get real with yourself, what will change? What will change in here? What will change out there? How will it make you feel? You know, what kind of transformation is going to come to you if you get real with yourself? The more we get real with ourselves, the more reality gets real with us. I'm not sure if this means something to anybody out there. It's just something that was coming up for me. I thought I'd make a quick video, get it out, put it on my YouTube channel, and see where it goes. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe, share it, and we'll see you on the next one. Be well.